Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today is more of, um, I don't know, of a science experiment than it is a tutorial. We're gonna find out the results together. Um, I saw on a Facebook group a question about how small can your Cricut cut? And there's no straight answer because there's a couple of things that you need to take into consideration. The, what are you cutting? Um, I find that cardstock, well, out of the materials that I use, that cardstock is difficult to cut really small letters, like fonts, um, really small letters and numbers. Uh, whenever I do something small, I prefer, my preferred medium is HTV. So you might be surprised. So that's heat transfer vinyl. It's iron on vinyl. It's what you would typically use to put on your sweatshirt, for instance. But um, I will cut it that small and then iron it onto my cardstock because most of my projects are cardstock. So uh, that is my preferred, my preferred medium. Um, the reason why I like HTV over adhesive vinyl is well there i think there's i believe there are two reasons but i'd be curious you know what i'm gonna have to ask i uh, i work really closely with polytape so they are my htv brand that i use i love them um i'll ask their like subject matter expert um if this is true i find that htv sticks to the carrier sheet better than adhesive vinyl. So why that's important is that it stays stuck to the material. So when you cut, you don't lose the pieces. And I find that it can cut better. But we'll see, because what I did was I did um, Cricut. So this is Cricut's uh, removable. <laughs> you can see that it's the purple one. I cut the same thing on both items. This is HTV. This is their Turbo Flex. Um, and I cut I cut out the number, like the height, so I did 0.25, which is a quarter of an inch. I did 0.2 and I did 0.1. So, I, no, I'm sorry, I did 0 0.25, 0.2, 0 0.15. Um, and honestly, I mean, I know my HTV, HTV works at 0.25, a quarter of an inch, because I do that all the time. Um, I've done slightly smaller as well. So I don't know if I'm gonna struggle seeing this, so that's why I have my bright pad out, but if I don't need it, let's let's see, let's put this to the test, okay? So here is my first piece, and um, I'm kinda scared to start this. Let's see, where is it? Okay, so I have some that... I probably should have my other tool, but let's see if this works. So this first one is the 0.25, so you'll see me peel off. It's all in one line. So, and I think when we see, okay, so crafter. Now here's the funny thing. So I did um, like a print font to do the 0.25 and the word test, but I did crafter in cursive just to test it out to see, you know, what are we gonna learn from this? Now what I will say is, if it works in the cursive font, it's actually a much smaller, even though the height of the word crafter is 0.25, you have to take into consideration that there's the highs and the lows, right? Like the letter F goes up and down. So that whole length of the F is 0.25, but the A is not 0.25, the A is much smaller. And I just looked at this, I don't know, you can kind of see it. The word crafter cut out. So that R, the C, the R, the A, and the ER, it's tiny, it's not 0.25. The only thing that's 0.25 is the F. <laughs> um, and yeah, even the T is smaller than that, right? All right, so here we go. Um, now, normally I would just pull this off because I, trust this vinyl, but the little dot in the 0.25 did pull up right now, but I got it. Um, okay. I mean, you, that little dot is like teeny tiny, right? Okay, so it totally cut. So let me get up uh, here. Let me pull this out so I can show you what that looks like, okay? 
So this is why I love HTV and this is why I love poly tape because uh, let me put this against, maybe this is easier to see. Um, let me put something darker. Here we go. Yeah, I think you can see that better. Okay, so everything stayed on this, the 0.25 test and the word crafter. So that is pretty amazing to me. Um, like I said, the word crafter is way smaller than 0.25. I don't think that you, I mean, look at how small the C is. The C is probably like, let me see. Um, yeah, I'm really bad at my measurements. The C is definitely smaller than 0.25 though, obviously. Um, all right. So this totally came through. I didn't weed out all the little pieces, but some of the little pieces came off when we pulled it off. So I'm not going to spend time doing that right now because I feel like my eyes cannot handle it. I will look at it later. Okay. So that's down. 0.25 is down. Let's look at the next one. And I'm going to cut this so that I don't pull it off. So here is 0 0.20. Okay. And then 0.15. Now 0.15 I can see the print is totally fine. I don't know what the crafter part is going to look like. Okay, so let's pull this off. Okay, so remember this is 0.2 and holy cow. The word crafter totally made it. Wow. Okay, poly tape, I love you. <laughs> Not that I didn't love them before. Um, if you're wondering where to get their stuff, you can go to my profile link. Um, I get it from Vinyl Outlet. Uh, they carry poly tapes, supplies, materials, product. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, so this little dot obviously is going to be teeny tiny. It did pull up a little bit. So let me see if I can save that little, little dot. And I forgot what the little dot is called. I know it. If, if someone gave me multiple choice, I think I would be able to figure it out. Because that little dot, oh, it stayed, uh, is for like on top of the eye. There's, there's a name for it. <laughs> okay, so 0.20 in uh, print totally came through fine. You can actually read it right there, right? 0.20 test and crafter, I can see it here. I'm, I'm really impressed. Okay, so that totally worked. Let's see 0.15. And I'm gonna save this because I wanna be able to take a picture of that. That is amazing to me. Okay, let's see how small. So this is 0.15. And I honestly, I didn't even bother to do anything smaller because what the heck are you making that smaller than that? <laughs> I don't know. Post in comments if I I think it's crazy. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think we should be making anything that small, but that is just me. Let me make sure. Oh, I'm going to lose the dot. Here's the dot. I don't know if this dot's going to make it. I can't even see it right now. Okay, so did I see the dot? Oh my God, I like need glasses. Oh my God, I think I saved the, did I save it? I honestly, I can't even, okay, the one lifted. The one didn't cut cleanly, it's lifting. But I can kind of save it. Oh, I did save it, but it's not looking good. Okay, so I need to be more careful when I'm peeling this off. I think if I was ready for it and not thinking that it was going to stay like I am doing with the E, I think I could have saved it. See, the E stayed. Oh, you can't even see it. I'm sorry. Okay, here's the S. I mean, it's so small, right? We can do this, right? We don't expect it to peel off completely like we have been, do we? <laughs> I don't know. All right. The word test totally made it. And let's see. Okay, crafter is falling apart. 
Now just remember, crafter is like way smaller than 0.15, right? Because that the only thing that's 0.15 is the is the F. So let's see if I pull it up this way. Okay. I mean, it didn't all stay. Wow, it's still pretty darn good though. Um, it didn't, like I said, it didn't all stay. I'm gonna put the one back so you can see it. But a lot of it stayed. Do you see, oh, it's really hard to see there. So you can see the 0.15 test. Um, so that cut, and it weeded without issue. I think my issue is like, seriously, if I was more, if I could see better, I think I need glasses. Um, if I could see better, I would have been able to handle that better. Um, the little dot I think is stuck on here, but that's still pretty cool. Now let's see if I have um, the same success with vinyl. And already looking at this sheet, can you see some of the white, some of the things lifted already? Um, it's from the word crafter and I lost the little dots in the 0.15 and the 0.20, which I have my 0.20 dot and my 0.25 dot. So let's see if I can peel this up. So this is the 0.25, sorry. Let's see. Okay, so the dot came off right away. Let's see if I can save that. No, it's stuck on here. Okay. Okay, so it all came out, but I'm missing the dot. <clears throat> um, the dot is stuck on here. So technically I could save it, but honestly, with it being adhesive and it already like got lost here, um, it's most likely gonna fall off, off of whatever we put it on, right? So um, I wanna save this. So give me a second. What am I gonna put this on? Uh, I'll put it on here. Okay. Um, so you're most likely going to lose that dot, right? Okay, so that's 0.25. Let's look at... Where is that? Okay, here we go. So the next one is going to be 0.2... And I already know I'm going to lose the dot because it already shifted on this sheet. But, but test is good as well as crafter. So, okay, let me put this down. And we can pull off the little O, the inside of the O. So that's looking perfect. I don't even know where to put this. Okay. All right, here's our last one. So um, here's the thing about what I did. I made sure that I had a really sticky mat. I used my brayer because you want it to be stuck to the thing so that your blade doesn't drag on anything. You want the blade to cut exactly and carve it out pretty much. Um, so use your brayer. The other thing is when I cut vinyl, I have a blade that only cuts vinyl. So kind of like the way, um, you know, people who sew, they have their um, scissors that they only use for fabric. Um, I, I believe the same thing for our blades. I, you know, I'm a huge paper crafter and paper is really hard on your, on your blades. So, and I cut that so often. So I have a blade just for vinyl. Every time I cut vinyl, I switch it out and then I switch it back. So I think that that is definitely like one of the reasons why this cut was so successful. Okay, crafter totally came up. Let's see how well I do with test. Now remember with test, I might need to use, oh no, I don't. Oh, wait, my E came up. So let me hold it down. Okay. My T is good. 
There's my five. You can see all this. Okay. Um, my five is good. Okay, my one. My one is struggling. Okay, my one. My one is teeny tiny. I mean, look at how small that is. So yes, it cut. Um, like I said, it's adhesive vinyl. I don't think it's gonna stay for very long. Look at how small that one is. It's so small. I wouldn't recommend cutting that small, but now we know it all works. But when you go to iron it on, that's enough for HTV for the glue to stay on. Like I feel like that is not as delicate. The one still looks really, really good. So, all right, that's my test for you. I'm super happy that, I, and you saw I was not struggling in um, weeding this. So, all right, I hope that helps uh, with your projects. And again, don't do anything that small. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye.